calculated it. I took that figure to Stockholm. I want to know. When I am being pressed to make a transition, I want to know how much it will cost. Because none of us in this room, in this sense, even our friends, brought this cost to the table. The point is, here it is now. The house is burning. We all have to collectively come together to take up this challenge. And so the leadership in Stockholm, the words of, of uh, caution, as well as caring, the, the sensitivity, not just of Pakistan, but the G77, was very welcome. It, we, we, it, was a, it was a long time after we felt that the richer countries, the developed countries, actually are bothered about what is going on in our neck of the woods, in our very, very hot neck of the woods, and why. So thank you for that leadership. Thank you also, Sweden, for remembering us in a time of COVID, gross COVID inequality. The vaccines that you donated were instrumental in assisting our population and taking us out of a difficult, challenging time. I hope COVID does not return to the world, but perhaps we should reconsider our shape and policy now, especially with flights coming in from everywhere. So while caution is in the air for all sorts of things, uh, I look forward, I'm sure, I, I have a lot more to say, but I think I don't want to keep people from enjoying their evening. I'm sure the back is already at it. Uh, and once again, I want to congratulate Sweden on its climate leadership, on its environmental goals, uh, and on the actual uh, on-ground stakes that Sweden has built amongst its population. That is our first challenge from policy elites to the ground, to the leaders on the ground that you were speaking to, the 16 young, fantastic um, climate leaders you were developing for us. Those are the people, you are the people, the innovators here, the businesses here, that actually need to move the needle forward. So thank you for coming here tonight and for giving us a little bit of